Thank you for being here. And uh, I'm glad to be here. But uh, unfortunately, I don't identify myself uh, as a young person. I'm 26, but I already saw uh, too much for a normal human life. Years in Russia's artistic underground fighting President Putin and uh, a court trial and two years in jail. But I'm sure that a lot of you who are sitting here so much more than me. I'm glad that a lot of people here are not originally from Western countries. Your background gives you power. And I know it from my own experience. Background, strength, and experience makes Malala one of the most influential people on Earth. My seven years old daughter, Gera, who is here actually, <laughs> she knows Malala and uh, likes her, and she's inspired by her. When I hear young women, I feel uh, that I am at a zoo or farm, and I am a horse or a cow. You deserve to be treated seriously and equal, even if you are young, and uh, even if you are woman. You will be told that religious, religious law says that women don't have rights and freedoms that men enjoy. But every world religion says, firstly, about the power of individual choice. And if you really believe, you, if you really believe in equality and do choose it, you can then change even the law of religion itself. If you live in a religious society that feel oppresses you, you should go out and change the religious concepts and approaches that oppress you. Be brave and do that. I'm disgusted by the fact that in the 21st century, the world is so separated by the gender norms and standards that are often more strict than what they used to be centuries ago. We know that there are a lot of cultures on Earth where men are much more feminine than in Western culture. We forget all the time that even in Western culture, just a few centuries ago, men used to wear more makeup than women. Gender is changeable. Please remember that. <laughs> Those who benefit from the current system of gender roles tell us that it is nature. They tell us that it is fate. But it's not. It is a product of history and society, so gender is changeable. I am a woman, therefore I am feminist. At the age of 10, I confessed to a classmate that I was a feminist. And he told me, in a few years, you will stop hating men, then you will start liking them, and you will get tired of feminism. He replied, <laughs> he wanted to put me down. He couldn't. He copied all his lessons in class from me because I was smarter. <laughs> if you are sexist, then don't copy from stupid chicks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> In fact, I don't believe that you can be a woman and don't be a feminist. It's like being human and not believing in the existence of human rights. But not only women, men have to be feminist as well. Men can be very valuable 
and very powerful feminist. And the 21st century will definitely see some hardcore male feminists in the most unexpected places on the planet. <laughs> I do not believe in the existence of a clear separation between men and women today. And the ideal feminist, both man or a woman, can be a right girl. A man can be a right girl as well. A right girl takes, is like a feminist in combat that takes the battle to the front lines of the gender equality war. And this is a war that we all should be fighting in the 21st century. This is a 21st century war, the gender equality war. And it is very disgusting that all of us are occupied now with wars that hardly even remind us of the 20th century, but belong in the darkest centuries of the Middle Ages. To counter these wars and get rid of these wars, we have to intensify the battles that remind everyone that we are in the 21st century. The human rights wars and the gender equality wars. Let's choose the right wars and start fighting them. <laughs>